Hey guys, welcome back to another Little League to Legend. Before we get into today's episode, just a couple of things. Sorry for the lack of videos, I'm still uh, in quite a lot of pain with my mouth due to the dental surgery last week. I uh, also made a video, but I ended up losing the audio for it somehow. Don't know how I managed that. So we're actually further into the season than I actually wanted. Uh, still at the, near the start right enough, but we'll just have a wee look and see what's happened. So I had done a first episode here, uh, beating Maccabi Haifa. We beat them 6-1 in aggregate. We then made a second video immediately after with Rangers and the first leg against Mil Sami. Never heard of that team before. Uh, and then the next episode, which is would have been today's episode, would have been this one that we're going to play now. But as you can see, we could beat off Rangers in the first league game of the season. We then won in the Europa Conference League. We then beat Aberdeen in the league. We then beat well, Sammy in the second leg. And then most recently, we beat St. Johnson 5-0 in the Premier Sports Cup second round. Which leaves, leads us up to Sivaspor game. Uh, we're just going to do the two legs of this Sivaspor tie. But again, sorry that I lost the audio on that and you won't see them so sorry again if i'm a wee bit out of it i'm still taking like, a lot of painkillers and the more i talk like the more my mouth does hurt so sorry if i go quiet during games or that but let's have a look at the transfers we'll go through these rather quickly so at the end of the season we brought in colin hay from hamilton he is one for the future to be honest so i'm hoping that he'll be able to fill fill fulfill his potential uh this is just a bunch of players that we let go you can have a wee look yourself i won't go through them all but we lost caleb goldie to southampton for five million they offered it like we weren't able to negotiate and basically i didn't want to cause a fuss so five million great uh for a player that we actually brought in in a free gutted that we lost them right enough but these things happen we then lost these players most significantly, Luca Franco. He went to Malaga. He wanted to leave. They had been a few teams had been trying to sign him, to be honest. Uh, but we were holding out for the that two point five million, and we finally got it off of Malaga. And these are the players that were brought in. Wilson Balde is a direct replacement for Franco. He's come in and he's been fantastic so far this season. So he's 18 years old and he's got bags of potential. Next was Brian Mansala, who is currently injured at the moment, but he had come in as the he's playing beside Baldi. And he actually started really, really well, uh, but got injured. He came in a free. We then loaned in Lewis, Lewis Brown from Arsenal. I just kind of wanted to get... A really good centre back uh, as cover, and I think we've done that. Next was Theo Santi Luke Santi Luca. He came in on a free transfer. He looks as if he's going to be a decent signing for us. Another freebie. Hopefully, he'll be able to lead us in uh, further into Europe down that left hand side. Uh, next one was Albert Goodmanson from Strasbourg on a free. He has come in. And he's going to be playing behind the two strikers. So, looking for big stuff from this signing. Next is a youngster from Santos. 350000 I actually signed him on a free. I think that must be his compensation. But, Jao Francisco has come in and is already making leaps and bounds. He actually probably could be starting soon. Uh, you never know. Mateo Maldonado is the next one. He came in for $1.5 He is another younger player, pardon me, he will be back up uh, to the attacking midfielder position, he has bags of potential as well, again, looks like a really, really good player, next, I wanted backup for the like, fullback positions, and we've got that on one player, so Juan Carlos Portillo can play left back and right back, it does say here his best position is defensive midfielder, but it says there, left and right back is... So he has been playing left back now because St. Luca is injured. But again, decent backup and I think he's a decent player for getting him in a free. Next is Ben Nelson. He is coming in from Leicester, just over 300,000. 
22 year old Scotsman, I think he's going to be a really good player for us in the future. It says he's already, or could become, I think, uh, a good Premiership f footballer. So hopefully he'll fill in that role pretty nicely. But we'll have a look at the competitions. We've played two, we beat one, we won one. Uh, we're sitting seventh for now, that doesn't really matter to us. We're in a quarter-final at Sports Cup. Drew against Rangers, so don't know if we're going to get through there. Uh, Scottish Cup's not drew yet, and hopefully we'll get beat, we'll get by Sivaspor, Sivaspor, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, probably did, uh, and we'll get into the group stage of the Conference League. Right, so this is a team that we're going to be sending out against Sivaspor, Sivaspor, sorry again. So we've got Clementine goals, uh, we don't have Maguire there, or do we? Uh, G. Capuzzi is there. So G. Capuzzi, Beraldo, Brown, St. Luca at the back. Pompetti, McPherson and Patton and uh, Goodmanton, sorry, at the in the midfield. Balde and Rocha uh, up front. We've played really, really well uh, in Europe uh, in the past four games. So I'm hoping that we continue to play well. I'd, I've never heard of this team before, so I don't really know what to expect. But we do have the first highlight. Pompetti plays it through to Patton, and Patton really should have finished that. He should have finished that. Goodmanson. Starts to kind of attack, passes to Balde, who beats one man, plays it through to Rocha, and Rocha smashes that wide. He should have got that target. Chances like that, we really should have, well, he really should have got that on target. Balde now to St. Luca. Penalty? No. McPherson shoots. And McPherson scores. First, uh, fourth goal of the season for McPherson. Puts his 1-0 up away from home. It's a nice finish from McPherson, to be completely honest with you. And they're now on the attack, but Baldy clears. Rocha can't get to it, though. They're on the attack again, but Jacob Puzzi... And Clemente combined clear. Goodmanson now. Patton, Balde, Balde. That was lovely. I liked that. That was a nice finish. That was unlucky. It was a good save from Clemente. And that was abrupt, but it's now half time. 2 0 up away from home in Europe is always good to see. Goodmanson tried to cut it back to McPherson, but gets cut out, and now they're on the attack. No one's getting anywhere near, but that was poor uh, from their striker. Just cut it straight at Clemente. It's getting to sub o'clock, so start bringing on some people. Conteros for Pompete. Acevedo can come on. Lego can come on. Uh, Patch can come on for McPherson because it did say McPherson was tiring. Played really well, kept the ball really well. Balde now, can he get the cross away? He doesn't, he gets tackled, and now they possibly have a counter. Lago plays through Balde, and Balde scores 10th of the season for him. 10 goals already, but that's offside apparently. I didn't think it was, but hey.
Argo to Balde to Patching. Tried to get through Arcavedo, but couldn't have it. Couldn't get it past the defender. Brown with the interception, but only leads to them. Now they have a chance and they smash it off the post, but it's offside. Ten minutes to go. Patch him with a free kick. Is he going to take it sometime today? He does, and it smashes off the bar. Patchen's picked up a knock, which isn't ideal. We're losing a lot of players to injury this early on. Which isn't good when we're chasing a place in Europe, but we've got a good 2-0 lead in the leg uh, in the tie, so we'll be back in just a minute for the second leg. Right, so we're back for the game again, the, the second leg. Uh, since we're last with us, we beat Hibs 5-0. Pretty easy one against them, so that puts us up in a sixth place. But let's just get stuck into the second leg. Ooh, sorry. So this is the team of picking up a lot of injuries and a few of our players that I would like, uh, or two of the players that I would like to have in the team are unable to get registered. But this is the team. Clemente and Goals, Jake Capuzzi, Nelson Brown, Baraldo at the back, Pompete, McPherson, Patton and Goodmanson in midfield, Rocha and Balde up front. Right, so looking for more of the same today. I actually can't believe that uh, we could be taking the Martin and the, the Europa Conference League group stage if we don't like commit football suicide here. Sorry about that. We have got a highlight here. Patton out to Giacopuzzi. Can he get a cross away? He doesn't. They start a counter-attack. Hopefully we can clear this. Hopefully we can clear this, but they fluff that chance. <coughs> First with the corner. Cleared. Pompete picks up the loose ball. Beraldo goes down the left, claims for a penalty but doesn't get it. Pardon me. This is a very, very long highlight and it leads to them scoring. Not ideal. Well, they're turning into a game now. Brown was unlucky not to score there. So, 2-1 on aggregate, 1-0 down on the night. I feel like if we do score, then the game and tie, well, the tie more than the game, is done. Balde now to Patton, McPherson through to Goodmanson, and he should have done better with that. Should have done better, but we go into half time, one 0 down. I don't really have. I'm going to need to take Jake Capuzzi off. I don't really have another defender to bring him on. Eh, bring on. <sighs> uh. We'll bring on Ewan. I know he can't play there, but we really need him to. Because Maguire is out for two months. With a lower stress frac back fracture or something like that, I think. So, we're struggling. Baldy out. Crosses in. Goodmanson's there, and that was as easy a finish as you'll get to see. Good finish, good play from Baldi. So yes, I want to continue with that. Three one up on aggregate, one one on the night. 
that should be Ty Dunn. Ewan with a throw on to Patton. Back to Ewan. Crosses it. Baldi's there. Baldi nods in. Has 11th of the season. And our second on the night puts his 2-1 up and 4-1 up on aggregate. They're coming down the left-hand side. This is how they scored the last time. And they nearly did that again. Less than 10 to go. I probably should actually be making subs. I totally forgot about that there. So, Patching can come on. We'll just do the front three out. Quinteros can play there. And we've got a young chap, a run out for, in fact, we can't, so we'll just continue. We've only got about 10 minutes left, so hopefully we don't crumble. Patton now to Baldi to Rocha. Playing some really nice football again. Ewan gets dispossessed. Now they counter. And they equalise with less than 10 on the board. Hopefully they don't get another 3. I doubt they will. Our players are just they're na absolutely knackered. And with that, we won 4-2. And I think that's now us qualified for the group stage. Dumbarton are through to the after a... That makes a lot of sense. Thanks for that. But uh, I do believe that is us through to the group stage of the conference league so that's absolutely awesome we are through to the group stage so i don't know when the group stage is going to be but we'll probably come back for the first game of the group stage this is how the league is looking we're in fifth place three points behind rangers six points from a possible nine and we've also got rangers coming up in the premier sports cup so, sorry if this episode seems a bit rushed. It probably is because, as I said, the more I talk, the more my mouth hurts. So, I'm recording this on the Friday. Uh, I think it's Friday the 16th of December. So, I am working the next three days. So, I doubt there's going to be a video every day. This video will either be out on the Saturday or the Sunday. But my next day off is Tuesday, so hopefully from Tuesday onwards, we'll be getting back into the rhythm of daily videos. So I appreciate your patience with me. So if you like this episode in any way, please leave a like down below. If you would like to see more Football Manager 23 content on the channel, please subscribe, turn your notifications on, and thank you very much for watching.